Hi everyone, you are welcome to my channel again. My name is uh, Epsi Ashaolu and this is the Musing of the Spirit channel. Now today I'll be teaching you on uh, how to create a prayer vision board. A prayer vision board combines prayer with your goals for the year expressed in uh, pictures and um, scripture references. So if you want to know more about it, I created um, Christian animation video that explains uh, how it works. If you have not seen the video, uh, click at the top of this uh, video, click the link at the top of the video to get it. Now we will be creating it um, on Canva. Canva is both a free and paid platform for creating designs. Just type canva.com on your browser and it will bring you to this page. Now, you need an account to be able to use Canva. They are both free and paid accounts. A free account will uh, suffice for this um, design. So just go ahead and sign up for a free account. And if you already have an account on Canva, just sign in and continue the tutorial. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you will click on the page is um, create a design. You can create uh, a prayer vision board for your phone and for your desktop wallpaper uh, it's the same process all you need is just to change the, the dimensions and then uh, create it again so let's do do it for phone wallpaper you click on full wallpaper and it brings you to the design page so this is a design page so now to start our design So to start our design, you will need um, a background for the vision board so that it won't be only a plain background. Now, there are different uh, designs you can use for the background. We have the solid colors. When you click on it, it appears on the page like this. If you don't want that, you can use um, you can, there are landscape and there are patterns. And the uh, abstract gradients, just pick any one that uh, will um, help you to we create a good background for you. So let's just choose one. Let's, uh, you can see how there are so many patterns here. So let's just use, uh, uh -huh. anywhere you see the crown pro here, that means it's for paid members. You can also use a, uh, such picture so where there is no crown you are free to choose any one you want so let me choose this and use it as our background so now that we have the background the next thing is to get the picture grid it is a placeholder for uh picture so you click on elements and you type grid there to help you to fit in your pictures without you having to resize them so we have different sizes and shapes it depends on the number of your goals for instance if you only have three goals you can pick uh, a grid with three shapes like that but if you have more you can al always duplicate it on the page so let me use um this this is four placeholders if i have eight goals i can duplicate it you just Click on it like this, click on Ctrl C and click on Ctrl V to paste it on the page. Then you move it up. I need this space for my scriptures because I'm going to have scriptures to it also. So now that we have our place with us, it is time to look for the photos to fit on the page. So we go to Photo Hub. Um, in on canva so many of the pictures are for paid members so if you need free uh pictures that are good you can always get them on pizzles.com so let's go to pizzles.com to pick up our pictures pizzles p e x e s x e l s l s dot com it's a free Photo website. You can always get all your photos 
for free on the platform. So let's um, let's imagine that our first uh, goal is to um, get married for the year. In the year, you want to get engaged and also get married. So you just uh, we we'll just type in. Let's just type in marriage to show us a picture of a married couple that we can use to depict that goal. So this is a good one. Anyone you see, you just anyone you see and you like, you just click on the green download button, and it will download for you. So this is downloaded already. Then you come back to Canva, and uh, upload it. And this is the upload icon. You click on it, and click on upload files. Then you go to where the file is uh, stored and click on the picture to upload it. So I have um, my goal. Now, uh, maybe the next thing, the next goal on the, on the list, your goals may be different from mine. Uh, this is not really my goal. So maybe the next thing on the goal is um, you need, uh, okay, let's say spiritual issues. You want to get to know God more by praying and reading the word. So let's say reading the Bible. You want to be able to read the Bible so that you can grow. So we look for... Uh, a good one. I think I like this. This is good. So you click on download also to take it to Canva where you can add it to your goal design. So here I'll click on it. Click on open. So that's how you pick all the pictures you need for your goals so this is the second one so let's look for a praying woman for the next goal uh christian praying woman this is another good one so you just download it straight away And we had it to uh, go to the design. Open. So here we have it. So the next goal can be to travel the world. You want to travel the world? Travel. You go back to puzzles and pick a picture that represents the goal. <laughs> Look at one with a uh, boss. No, I don't want to go by boss. Uh, okay, I think this is good. It's a picture of a lady showing a historical site. So let's go and upload it as well. So we just drag it again and put it there. So maybe you need a car. You want to buy a car in the course of the year a car 
just type in a card there you'll see different type of uh, cars preferably the brand you want to buy you can look for it and also add the picture uh, I don't have a good picture of a car here okay this looks good so we download it also good one and we upload it on Canva good so we still have three more spaces for goals um okay yeah maybe you want to build a house in the course of the year there is nothing girl cannot do so put all your goals there um, a beautiful house Okay. Beautiful house. Okay, maybe something like this. Let's go down and see if we can get a better one. A beautiful house. this it looks more more than than the rest of them so I'll do the same thing with it bring it in yeah maybe the next goal can be um, getting a better job so let's put a lady in an office getting a better job is also a good one so let's use this lady we download it good so we need one more goal to complete our design. Maybe you want to start a new business. Probably, uh, I don't know. So let's just type a business. You know, you can have a business as a side also. So let's see if we can get a good one to add. I didn't specify the kind of business I want to add. So let's see whether we can get a good picture to just represent something. Oh, you may want to start. Okay. Let's use this to signify it. So we'll go back to Canva as always and upload the picture there. So we just click on it, click open, and you have it downloaded onto the system, uploaded to Canva. So we are through with our goals. Now we need um, two scriptural references that we can always um, read and confess whenever we look at the goal. So I have two scriptures that I normally use. The first one is um, uh, God will supply my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So just search for the scripture that you want to use. And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and in, uh, in glory by Christ Jesus. This signifies that I'm not depending on myself, but I'm relying upon the 
upon God to supply the needs that I have. So I just copy it and then I put it in a placeholder on the page. So I'll come to Canva and type, um, go to Element and type Shape so that I can have a shape for my scripture. This is the shape, but I'll change the pair, the I'll change the color so that it won't be the same color as the one we have under here. So I'll just put it there, come up here and change the color. Maybe I'll use a green color or a red one. Okay, let's use this red. It looks more appealing. So I already copied my scripture. I'll just paste it into the box. Well, it's not showing very well. So I'll go to uh, this place and increase the font to around maybe 30 so that to be big. Yes, this is good. The reference is um, Philippians 4.19. So I will just type Philippians 4.19 here. Philippians 4.19. So you just come here and just choose a white color so that it can show very well. change to my background it is the words I want to change so you just highlight the text and then go to a text color and make it white this is white color good one so we I need another scripture at the top so I can just copy this and then control V to paste and then I'll move it just put your cursor here move it to the top here sorry about the background noise uh, I've been trying to avoid it but it seems it's still persistent so you just put in the next scripture here I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. That is Philippians 4.13. Yes, we are almost done with our design. Now what it remains is uh, you come back again to element and click on the uh, box so that we can put the title of our uh, design there. So you click on test. Click on hard heading. We have um, 2024 prayer slash vision board. This is too big, so we reduce it so that it can fit this space. And then we change the character. So let's break this. We break this. And we click on it and we're going to change the typeface so that it looks click on underwriting you can use any font style you want but I think I want a cursive uh, font style I can still increase it to 40 this is good so you can add your picture also you can put your picture just go and pick the picture and fit it there anyhow okay this is a picture maybe i'll just use this to show that it is my prayer vision board fit the place. I put it at the center here. Yes. 
so I can also add uh, 2024 calendar or any calendar that represents uh, any calendar at all that you can use just to depict so this is a planner this one's most of the calendars here are paid but I can use this it looks free it is free so I'll just resize it to also fit the place here I go up so here i'll do this i'll bring this down beautiful isn't it so this is how it looks now the next thing you will do is to come to share and click on download to so download our 2024 prayer vision board so after you finish downloading it you just um, copy it to your phone you can use your usb cable or you use Bluetooth to transfer it to your phone. Now, when it gets to your phone, just right click on it and then click on it and then you will see uh, set as wallpaper. So you can use it as wallpaper. Now you can come back here and do for your desktop also. You just do the same thing, follow the same process and you will be there. But if um, you can't, um, do the design like this i will provide a link that you can click and then you will see this design then you can customize it to your taste let's give it um a title prayer vision board good one so um like i said i'll give you a link for you if you can't do it like this just get the link click on the picture delete it and pick something like this and put your own picture there or your own photo that represents your goal there i hope you understand the uh, tutorial if you have any question please type it in the comment section i'm going to reply to it as usual thanks for watching the tutorial and have a great day bye